I hope you guys have enjoyed your Christmas and I know that this is a really difficult time for a lot of people. I want to make this video really real and authentic and as much as this is a celebration for like a lot of people, um, this is all also a time of mourning, um, a remembrance of loss. For a lot of people, a lot of people, this is the first time celebrating Christmas without their loved ones. This is the first time celebrating Christmas um, in in mourning, in pain. And for a lot of people, Christmas will never be the same again. There will come a time when that will pass. There will come a time when your mourning will pass. There will come a time when that sadness that you feel will pass that heartbreak that you feel will pass that time that you feel like robbed away your joy robbed away your time of celebration that will pass and it can happen to anybody anybody can be robbed of such a time as this like anybody can be robbed of such a joyous time and joyous celebration there's a lot of things that the enemy has tried to take away there's a lot of things that the enemy has tried to to change you know to um to take even from god to manipulate you know to mold into um his own identity you know to use to desensitize us as a people you know so that it takes away the value of the trueness of the celebration of the real reason why we celebrate and he is jesus christ is the reason for the season the bible says that unto us you know a child was born and a son was given his name shall be called counselor wonderful everlasting father prince of peace you know the bible says that he came um to save us from our sins there is so much significance and regardless to whatever it may be like the 25th is not the day that jesus christ was born that's not been proven that was not stated in the bible but i said to myself if i can celebrate my birthday you know why wouldn't i celebrate the birth of my savior the birth of the one who came to take away my sins if i don't know his birthday it could have been any day but this is the day that the lord has made this is the day that has been picked to worship him to glorify him you know to acknowledge him to um to thank him you know to thank him for dying for us you know and mary did you know i don't know if you know that song but it says mary did you know you know that the child that you was carrying was to be the savior of this world mary did you know and there's so much power in that song because what it signifies is that what you're carrying you don't even know the power and the greatness of what you're carrying because if you knew the greatness that you was carrying then you would not abort the mission you know because joseph nearly did you know he could have should i say should i imply he could have mary could have because she did not know where this baby had come from joseph did not know where this baby had come from and she could have aborted he could have pushed her into that position and that would have aborted the mission and so there is so much significance to that and when I left service today um, I came across this man and he just laid on my heart like I just cannot stop thinking about him and the sorrow that I just saw in his eyes and the pain and he just said you know Merry Christmas God bless you have a good Christmas and he was almost like just trying to walk away but at the same time there was this yearning and this cry that he was almost like this help that I could sense from him and I just kind of beat myself up because I was like the least that I could have done is pray for him you know I didn't have anything to give him but we just gave him like a small um bowl of food but I was like I just I wish that I had the opportunity to pray for him and to me in that moment it really just signified that this is what so many people are going through and you know he was just like you know I'm just going through so much right now um, and he was crying a grown man this was a grown man and he was crying and um, and it really broke my heart and it really just compelled me to just come and sit down and just say you know 
this may be you you may be in that time when you're like well what exactly am i celebrating you know what exactly is there to be happy about and you know you may have gone through the year and it may have been such a tough year and you know so tough that you almost feel like what is the point you know i don't even want to live another day of facing this hardship that i'm going through and you you might not want to live through another day you know watching other people celebrate and you know laughing gifting each other and all of these things as we do it we do it in remembrance of god we're able to present to one another gifts we're able to come together as a, as a community and sometimes that's what people need you need that community and i think people forget that with faith or with religion or with christianity it's not just about following a book of laws and rules and regulations it's about being a part of a community is being a part of something greater when we do have times like this you don't have to be alone you know you can be part of something greater something that love cannot be um, it cannot be explained in any way you know like it's beyond what you have ever experienced you know the bible says that he is the prince of peace like when we're talking about that peace it's a peace that surpasses all understanding it's a peace that we cannot comprehend with our own comprehension we cannot dissect we cannot understand the things of god to everyone that was that man that i witnessed today or is in that in that situation you know i just want you to feel encouraged like wherever you're watching from you know you may be alone in your house and thinking you know what i don't want to go through another year i don't want to see myself in this situation again next year and you don't have to the point that i want to make is that you don't have to go through another year be in the same place christmas time again and that really boils down to you how much do you want this change what is the change that you want what do you want to see what do you want to see in your life what is it that you are so unhappy about what is it that is making you feel so sad and what can you do to make it better because a lot of the time there are things that we can do to make it better for those who are spending christmas for the very first time without their loved ones um they may have passed this year um some may be sick you're not able to visit them you're not able to see them um i just want to say that my prayers are with you and there isn't any words that can console you there isn't any words that can comfort you but you know what i i believe that god is a great comforter and in him there is comfort there is there is peace there is healing and that healing will take time but if you just open yourself up every day every day every day that healing will come i just want to say you're not alone you know um and it's a, it's very very tough it's it's very tough you know i think a lot of people are putting up brave faces but god is with us and god is with you and he will forevermore be with you so yeah guys i just wanted to just you know release this quick message like jesus is the reason for the season and that's facts he was born mary had a little lamb the lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world is our lord jesus christ and we celebrate christmas to remember him to thank him to worship him there is nothing that you can do like to make god love you more or to even love you less like god remains the same like he is the same like he does not change you know he doesn't his appearance his outlook to you doesn't change it doesn't change because you are good today and you are bad tomorrow because your good in itself is like filthy rags to him so what you think you're good is like nothing to him that's what a lot of people they judge themselves they measure themselves by their own goodness they've done something good oh i fed the poor today so to you now you think that you are good worthy but to god he's like no that's your filthy rag 
you know and so there's nothing that you can do for God to love you more God loves you regardless because he is love like he is the embodiment of love he is not a feeling he is the definition does that make sense he is the embodiment he is the definition of love he loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life with him you know and that is the gift of God to us and what uh, what is our requirement what is the requirement from us is to give our lives a living sacrifice it's a daily thing to give over ourselves to him and say God I want to know you more I want to have this relationship with you oh you are the everlasting father like it didn't say you're the everlasting God or the everlasting Lord you are the everlasting father the ever everlasting the forever standing the ever the last the beginning and the last one the father meaning that if he's the father then somebody has to be the son somebody has to be the child we are his children he came that we can be reconciled to him that's what he gave his sons that we can have that father and son relationship how do i know that i'm a son because the bible says that those who are led by the spirit of god these are the sons of god he's already called us sons we are called into sonship he is the jesus christ is the first son and through him through him we're able to also carry that sonship you know we're also able to have that relationship and i just wanted to really give out this word because i want to encourage you yeah i just want you to be so encouraged guys but thank you so much for tuning in thank you for listening hope you guys have a good christmas and a good new year oh my gosh this is the last sunday of 2022 bye guys